guys, today I'm going to be doing a summer glowy makeup look. We're not going to be using any foundation for this makeup tutorial. Not only because I don't wear foundation anyways, but I just feel like foundation can be kind of heavy for the summer. If you are one of those people who feel that they need more coverage, but you don't want to go all the way with foundation, you can definitely try using a BB cream or a tinted moisturizer. And then for the more problem areas, you can use concealer just like to spot conceal. So, I don't have any makeup on my face except my eyebrows, of course. And we're going to start off by priming our eyelids. I'm going to be using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, which is number 604. And then the e.l.f. Professional Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to be putting that all over my eyelids. I'm going to be using the MAC eyeshadow in soft brown and this is a coastal sense fluff brush and I'm just going to be putting this color in my crease as a transition color so that when I apply the later eyeshadows they blend easier. I'm going to be using my eyeshadow C brush and this is a baked eyeshadow from Lissy Cosmetics, I think that's how you pronounce it, and this is the color Long Island Iced Tea, number 04. And I'm just going to be applying that all over the lid. Just to add a little more depth into my eyes, I'm going to be using the Coastal Sense Real Palette Sampler and this is the e.l.f. Professional Blending Eye Brush. And I'm going to be taking these two shades. They don't have names, so these two right here. I'm just going to mix them together and I'm going to apply it on the outer V and bring it into my crease about halfway. take a clean brush. This is the Coastal Scents Classic brush. I'm just going to blend out that shadow that I just applied so the lines don't look so harsh. To highlight the inner corners of my eyes and under my brow bone, I'm going to be using the Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. And these are brushes that were in the Equal Tools Travel Set. So it's like the flat brush and the fluffy brush to blend it. I'm not going to be putting eyeliner on the top. I'm going to put black eyeliner. This is a, from Rotora Secrets. This is just a regular black eyeliner. The color is pitch black. I'm going to be putting that in my waterline and then I'm going to tight line. For mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara in the shade Carbon Black. And I'm just going to do the top lashes. I'm not going to do the bottom lashes until after I do my concealer and everything. So that way it will be much easier and it doesn't smudge. I just got this mascara about a week ago. And I already love it so far. It makes your lashes thick, not too thick, but what it mainly does, it elongates your eyelashes, which I really love. And it doesn't clump it up. So for primer, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer, and I'm going to be putting that all over my face. For concealer, I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal um, in the color Medium Beige, as well as their Orange Color Corrector. And I'm going to be applying it with the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush and my Damp Beauty Blender.
Since it's summer, I want that extra highlighted look, so I'm going to be using the MAC Prep and Prime Highlighter Pen in the color Bright Forecast, and I'm just going to use that same beauty blender to blend it out. Concealer and highlight, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I just got this um, to see kind of how it would be different than the Banana Powder by Ben 9. And even though it's more expensive, I have to admit I do like it. So although most of the powder melted into my face, I'm going to brush off whatever's left after I finish doing um, my contour and stuff. So I'm going to be using the Nika K HD Concealer, um, and this is in the shade. This is in the shade Follow, and I'm going to be using this as the base of the of the contour for my cheeks. And I got this for $1.99 at. Uh, a beauty supply store and I like love it so much and it comes with 0.51 ounces which is like twice this comes with twice as much product as the LA Girl Pro Concealer so I finished blending out that contour with the Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm gonna go over that liquid with the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and to contour my cheeks, I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Contour Brush. And I'm going to be using this shade to contour my cheeks and around my face. To contour my nose, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Defining Eye Brush. And I'm going to be using this lighter cool shade to contour my nose. I'm going to go over the bridge of my nose with the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter just to clean it up because some of that brown contour kind of got in the way of the highlight I put in the video. Now, to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Buxom Divine Goddess Luminizer. And I like to put liquids and then set it with powder. So I'm going to, this is the liquid that I'm going to be using for the highlighter. And then I'm going to set it with the powder in a few. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. You don't need that much because like, a little goes a long way. I'm just going to dab it in all the areas that I want to highlight, which are the high points of my cheekbones. No, you could just blend it out with your fingers. Actually, I'm going to use a beauty blender to blend it out a little better. To set that liquid, I'm going to be using the Balm Luminizer, Mary Luminizer. And I'm going to be using this Equal Tools. It came in the travel set. I think it's like a blush brush or a powder brush. I'm just going to take a little bit and put it on top of the cheekbones and the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cubits, and my forehead a little bit because this is really, really, you have to have a light hand to use this or then it's going to look really dramatic. Unless if that's the look that you're going for, then go ahead. Inject my blood with the baseline black light. I hear the freaks are coming up for some more. I hear the freaks, 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 freaks,
as you can see, it's really... I don't know if the camera could pick it up. But I think this highlighter is so beautiful for the summer. So when the sun hits you, it's just like... Super shimmery. So I'm gonna go back to my eyes. And I'm gonna go back to this... Also sense for real palette. I'm gonna use my MAC 219 brush and I'm going to mix these two colors together that I used on my top. I'm just gonna put that on my lower lash line. I'm also gonna take this color and put it close to the inner corners of my eye. Then I'm gonna go back to the telescopic mascara and I'm just gonna put some on my lower lashes. For my blush, I'm gonna be using the NYX blush in cinnamon. This is a really pretty orange color. You can use like a pink shade if you want, but I feel like orange color is really complimenting my skin tone. And to apply that, I'm gonna be using the Equal Tools. I think this is the normal size blush blush, if I'm not mistaken. I'm just gonna apply some of that onto my cheeks, apples on my cheek. For my lips, I'm gonna be using the Jordana lip line in the color Rocky and Rose, and the NYX lipstick in the color Perfect, number 608. Lastly, to set my entire face, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set Spray. And this is the finished Summer Dewy Makeup Look. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. I hear the freeze, freeze.